Hello, Cancer, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin. In Cancer, today we're going to do a, a person on your mind reading. Oh, okay, let's talk about them. Well, they might be daydreaming just a little bit about you here. I am always longing for you. All right, well, let's get into your person on the mind reading, Cancer. Let's see what's going down. What is the hidden secrets here, hidden desires? With regards to their broken, whoa, shattered, broken, and destroyed. Well, 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 what is going on here? Come so let's get into your reading and let's see what the person on the mind is thinking and feeling about you right now. Spirit guides, the person cancer is thinking about the most. How do they think and feel? Ooh, they got some passion. They definitely got some fantasizing going on here, cancer. Somebody's thinking a lot about you. All right, what are their intentions? What is it that they want from cancer in this connection here? Wow, success. Ooh, six of wands, queen of swords, coming with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoa, how many cards are here? Leo energy. There's you. There's the six of pentacles. Those are their intentions. Okay. They're actual. What can Kansa expect here in the near future from this person maybe thinking about the most? The king of pentacles. Oh, no, that's a knight of pentacles. We've got a slow mofo here. Could we deal with an earth sign? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's the fool. Fool's always Aries energy for me. You got a fresh start, new beginning. We got some passion here. Okay, so let's just talk about it. Let's just get the elephant in the room. Just dealt with. We'll just deal with it. They be fantasizing, right? We got some serious motherfucking passion for the Kansa in the house here with the Ace of Wands. That's how they're feeling about you. They might be a little excited for you here, Kansa. What else are they feeling and thinking about? Can yeah, they really want They think a lot about you. <laughs> Look at all these thinking, thinking, thinking. They be thinking a lot about you. Uh, three of Wands and the Six of Wands, they want your attention in a lot of different ways here. There's a magician. They want to communicate. So whatever's happened here, the separation, this distance, whether it's emotional, maybe physical, maybe someone's holding back. Uh, maybe it's emotional. Maybe it's just distance. Whatever it is, they want to talk here. They are thinking a lot about you. They're giving this a lot of attention. They want to talk. <laughs> they want some naughty time soon here, Cancer, for a shizzle. They're very, yeah, they want to heal things. There's a star. The star is also the card of wish come true, dream fulfillment. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, so you're everything that they want physically and emotionally because the star is also very empathetic, very kind, very compassionate. So it's not just physical. It's also some emotional connection here between you and this person. Now let's grab their intentions because what I see is someone who wants attention. Someone's out of standing out of attention here. Um, so, but they're having the courage and the strength to hold back. Um, maybe they know you're mad. Maybe they know that you're a little cold. Maybe they know you're a little passive. Maybe they just know you don't want to talk to them right now. Uh, what they want to do is talk. Um, they want to move forward. They want an equal give and take. The six of pentacles is here. They want to create balance. Right now there's an imbalance. They want to create balance with your cancer. They want to talk. Uh, they want your attention. That's for sure. But what do they actually want to say? <laughs> uh, they think a lot about you. Six of Wands, they're thinking a lot about this. The Three of Wands, that you're everything that they want, that they see a future with you here with this Three of Wands, um, that, that you're what they want. They want this to work. They don't want to uh, let go of this connection. So here's the Knight of Pentacles. Here's their action. So it is a very slow moving energy, but it's also someone who pays attention to the details. There's the Ten of Wands. Trying to work on the, there's the Five of Wands. There's the magician. There's you're gonna get that communication you want here. Um, yeah, there's wow. There is whenever I see the devil and the ace of wands, this is uh well, can you feel the heat? Boom, 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 boom. That's what I'm saying. So there's a lot of obsession here. Wheel of fortune waiting for the right time. They've been burdened, they've been stressed, they've been conflicted. You can expect to hear from this person. Not sure how slow moving they've been. But with that knight of pentacles, they'd be fucking turtle here. Um, and they might have waited a little too long because they're a little too uh, ace of wands energy in this reading. So, yeah, there they are coming to talk, to speak their truth, to heal this connection. So they felt the crossroads is done, ca uh, Cancer. Uh, there could be an earth sign. Oh, I can't remember if I said that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini energy. But uh, they want to talk about what happened. They want to let you know you're what they want. They want a future with you. They want to work this out. Use your resources. Use your problem-solving skills in order to overcome this. They might be coming for some naughty time as well here. Cancer, have a little bit. Yeah, so there's the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords. They want to shed light. They want clarity. They want to speak their truth. They want to work through this. They chose you. They want you to choose them. But what I do like is the fact that the Knight of Pentacles is there with the Five of Wands, which means they want to actually deal with the issue. Whatever it was that happens here, whatever it was that went down, they don't want to just skip by it. They don't want to just pretend. They don't want to just, you know, have some passion and pretend like it doesn't exist. They want to actually work on that, which I like. So they're coming back to work on this, to be successful, to overcome this challenge um, and to move forward with you, Cancer. So that's what I have here. <laughs> so let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. 
Spirit guides, what's the caring connection between cancer and this person on their mind? Temptation. Okay. Think carefully about the situation. All right. I think there's a lot of temptation here between you and this person. I'm going to say you guys are highly attracted to one another. All right. What's the hidden truth? They could say something that they're not saying. They want to. They should. Maybe they shouldn't. What would it be, baby? What would it be? I want to feel that way again. They like the way you make them feel. I regret lying to you, that motherfucker. I bury myself and work to forget you. They could try to distract themselves. Definitely could be an earth sign here. All right. Well, let's just see. What else do you need to know about this situation, about this person, about what they're going to say? What else does cancer need to know about the person on their mind? Spirit, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Hierophant in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. And the Seven of Swords. Wow. They know. Whoa. There's Page of Cups. Hold on. Let me grab the Hierophant in reverse. They know that they fucked up here. They know that they're lying. They know. Okay. They're. <laughs> look at that. They're, they're, they're dreaming. They be dreaming. They be dreaming. So, um, but they also know that you're very guarded. They know they screwed up here. They know that they ruined things between the two of you and they want to do things differently. What I see here is someone realizing that acting the way that they were acting, doing the things that they were doing, uh, really wasn't achieving what they wanted. They weren't getting what they wanted. Um, they want to change the way that they're doing things here at Cancer. Um, and they're hoping that you'll forgive them. Uh, they've done a lot of thinking, and you're going to have a choice to make here. There's a wheel of fortune. So divine timing, the timing is now in this person's mind what's peaking, two of cups. This person considers you their soulmate. Two of cups and the page of cups, they're going to come back very sweet, very charming, but they're also going to come back speaking their truth. They screwed up and they know it, taking accountability, wanting to change this connection, change the way they do things. They want to build something with you here, Cancer. All right, Cancer. That's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. <laughs> so, Cancer, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Whoa. Well, we're just going to put that back because you saw your answer. So, it does help my channel to grow. Thank you for all your support, Cancer. I really appreciate it. Let's get your yes or no question to close off your reading today. Spirit guides, yes or no? What is the answer for Cancer? Well, Cancer... The answer is negative. <laughs> That's what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.